Hey guys, welcome back. Now in this lecture, let us talk about the first elementary algorithm, which is our bubble sort. So bubble sort is based on the idea of comparing and swapping. So these are the two terms that you are going to hear a lot during the entire algorithm section. Let's take a sample unsorted array and understand our objective. So basically with this algorithm, we are going to take our input in the form of array which have some random numbers and as an output, we need to deliver a proper ascending to descending list. That means the number should be arranged from lowest to highest with the help of this algorithm. With this definition, you might be confused that what we are going to do. So let us understand this practically. Let me first take a list with my input and here whenever we are going to write an algorithm in terms of code, we'll be talking about the positions of index. So currently if I am talking about minus 2 and 45, but while writing our code, remember we will be talking in terms of their position, which is index 0 and index 1. This is something really important, which most of the students miss out when we move towards advanced section. Now coming back to our bubble sort. Now we divide everything in bubble sort according to cycle. And after every cycle, we are going to collect the highest value at the end of the list. So that means after first cycle, we will have 45, then we will have 11, then 0, then minus 2, and then minus 9. So let's begin our task. So here we compare index 0 with index 1. So if index 0 is greater than index 1, we swap. But at currently, index 0 is less than index 1. Now we are going to compare index 1 with index 2. And if you see here, 45 is greater than 0 then we need to swap. That means we are going to change their position in this array. Now here you can see the new position of 45. Now we are going to compare index 2 with index 3. And if index 2 is greater than index 3, we are going to swap again. And following the same index 3 with index 4 and 45 is greater than minus 9. So we swap again. So this is our first iteration cycle. That means we compare each adjacent element and then by the end of our comparison, we have one sorted element. Now with our next iteration cycle, we are going to perform these same step, but only with these four. This element is sorted and we know this is the highest one. So let's start our comparison with second iteration cycle. In our second cycle, let me compare index 0 with index 1, no swapping, index 1 with index 2, no swapping index 2 with index 3 here you can see 11 is greater than minus 9 let me swap again and here we have another sorted element now with our second cycle we have two sorted elements and three are remaining as we keep on increasing this cycle this part this sorted part will keep increasing and the unsorted part will be decreased in our next iteration cycle we are going to compare index 0 with index 1 no swapping index 1 with index 2 we need to swap since minus 9 is less than 0 and this is going to be our sorted list so that means we have only two elements remaining in our next iteration cycle we will be comparing these two so index 0 with index 1 and here you can see minus 2 is greater than minus 9 so we need to swap again so this is our final sorted list that means we have done certain iteration cycle with each cycle, we take out the maximum value and arrange it at the end of our list. First we did with 45, then 11, then 0, then minus 2 and minus 9. Now this was something tricky. Let me tell you one interesting thing. We call it bubble sort because we pop out bubble of maximum value with each iteration. In the next lecture, let us take another example of bubble sort and understand through some graphic and visualization. I hope you understand this topic. If not, don't worry because you are starting with algorithm and there are chances that you might need to watch this lecture again. Don't worry. In the next lecture, we are going to take some graphic as well as visualize our bubble sort algorithm. I hope this lecture was helpful. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.